Welcome to Graphics One Digital Academy. Today we will cover the Go ET2720 installation. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more Go Digital Academy videos or visit Graphics One website to find more video quick links. Okay, let's open our Go ET2720 DS box and see what is inside. A box of dye sublimation paper, which we will show you how to load in step number 6. A bag that has a CD, that contains the printer driver. We will show you how to install on your computer in step number 4, and a warranty card. Please remember, to send this card along with the proof of purchase within 30 days, to receive your limited time warranty on your printer. You will also find, the startup guide and an envelope that outlines what you are watching in this video. Now let's unpack the printer. Take out the printer power cord, and then, the ink bottles. Remember we have two printer models, ET2720DS, 8.5 by 11 inches, and ET15000DS, 13 by 19 inches. On the ET2720DS, you will receive four 70 milliliter bottles for CMYK. On the ET15000DS, you will receive three 70 milliliter bottles for CMY, and one 140 milliliters bottle for black. Take your printer out, remove the plastic wrapping, and all protective material from the product. Let's install the inks now. Important! The unit needs to be off. Remove the packaging bag, of the ink bottles. You can use a pair of scissors to cut the bag. Once the bottles are out, grab one bottle. Hold the bottle upright, and slowly turn the entire bottle cap to remove it. You will notice there is a protective seal on the bottle. Gently, remove the seal. Once done, put the entire bottle cap back on the bottle and slowly turning the cap until it is tightly secured. Repeat the same steps for the remaining colors. Open the printer's tank cover, and the tank caps. Grab the ink bottle. Hold it upright, and remove the top part of the cap. Insert the ink bottle, into its designated filling port. Leave the bottle upside down, and let gravity take over. When the ink tank is full, remove the ink bottle and close the tank cap. Do this with all the remaining colors. Note that all the inks, should match the filling port's color label. Grab the power cord that came with the product. Connect the power cord to the back of the product, and to an electrical outlet. Raise the control panel, then press the power button to turn on the product. Select your preferred language, country, date and time. The message. Start here, appears on the LCD screen, press and hold the question mark, also known as the help button, for 3 to 5 seconds. When the ink confirmation message appears on the LCD screen, select done to start charging the ink, by pressing the start button. Ink charging takes approximately 10 minutes. Be sure, to not unplug, turn off, do not raise the scanner unit, and do not load the paper, while the product is charging, or you will waste ink. The product will ask you, if you wish to align the print head. 
this is not needed now, click adjust later, and press the OK button to proceed. It is recommended for you to print a nozzle check to make sure all ink lines are filled correctly in the printer. In the home menu, press your right arrow until you see maintenance. Press OK and select nozzle check. Select print and click OK to confirm. Load a sheet of paper, and in the menu select print by pressing the confirmation key. Once printed, verify all the nozzles printed correctly. See the sample on the left. The printer is ready and we will install the driver in the next step. Insert the CD which came with your printer into your computer. If you misplaced it or don't have access to insert a CD into your computer, don't worry, you can download the driver by simply visiting Epson's official website and searching your printer model. Once you have located the printer page, click Support. Select Download, then click Drivers and download the printer driver by following the directions. Once installed, a software selection box will appear on your screen. Deselect all the options except for Epson drivers and utilities. Click Install. The download process will begin, it will take about 5 to 7 minutes. When finish, click Next. Confirm you have filled the ink tanks by clicking on the checkbox. Click Next, and then select the connection type. In this video, we will show you how to connect with a wireless connection. If you wish to directly connect via USB, you need to purchase a cable. Please note this item is not included in your purchase. Sold separately. Select your connection and click Next. Once the Wi-Fi connection is selected, click on Setup option. This printer is brand new. Select Setup printer for the first time, then click Next. Under Wi-Fi, Auto Connect, click and select No. For Wi-Fi network setup method select using the control panel, click Next. Now let's set up your SSID name and password, this will be done by Wi-Fi setup wizard, click Next. The Wi-Fi setup wizard will help you store your setup process. Now locate your printer's control panel, press the home key if necessary and use the left arrow on the printer until you see the Wi-Fi setup. Press OK. Press OK to select Wi-Fi recommended and then press OK again. Press OK to select Wi-Fi setup wizard. Now press the down arrow until you can locate your wireless network name, then press OK to select it. Now enter your wireless password. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through characters. With the circle arrows, you can switch between uppercase, lowercase, or numbers. Use the right arrow to move to the next character and left arrow to a character. Remember the password is case sensitive. Once you are done press OK. The Wi-Fi wizard will ask if you want to print a report, this is not necessary. Press the key with the circle and a triangle to say no. Now returning to your computer screen, click next until you arrive to the printer setup. Check the printer screen section. Since your printer is now connected to your preferred network, select the blue wireless image option which states your printer is connected. Once your computer has located your printer a green check mark will appear to confirm. Soon after, click next. Click Next again, to begin network installation then follow the on-screen instructions. Once the setup is completed, you will be asked to print a test page. This is recommended to do, this way you can verify the communication between the computer and the printer is good. Click on Print Test Page. Once the test page has been printed, select Next. Locate your dye sublimation paper packet, that came with your product. Notice that the product indicates you, what side is the print side. Feel the paper for yourself, note that one side feels smooth and has more of a regular office print paper feel. The print side has a thin, rough texture to it. 
Make sure, you place the paper correctly in the print tray, if not, your image will not transfer properly. For the ET2720DS printer, locate the rear tray on your printer and slide the edge guides. Insert the paper with the printable side up. We will show you how to install Windows compatible profile only. If you wish to receive Mac download instructions, please contact your sales representative to receive the instructions, or visit Graphics One website to access the document. Please note that the files are labeled to match your product, ET2720DS or ET15000DS. Click Download and select Direct Download. Save the file in your preferred folder. Locate the file. Once you locate it, right-click on your mouse and select Install Profile. This profile will be automatically saved in your Windows system. Now that the ICC profiles are installed, we can start printing. This is the printing process with Adobe Illustrator. Open your file, and in the File menu, select Print. On the Print window in the upper right, under Printer, click and select your printer model out from the list. Go down to Scaling and select, Fit to Page. In the Color Management section, new settings will appear on the right side of the window. Be sure Adobe Illustrator Determine Colors is selected. Under Printer Profile, select your installed ICC from the drop-down list. Under Rendering Indent, select Perceptual. Click on Setup, and Continue. Select your printer and click on Preferences. Under the Main tab, verify your paper size and source. Right below set the paper type to plain paper, bright white paper, Set the quality to high. Go to More Options tab, in the middle center right, set Color Correction to Custom, and click Advance. Select No Color Adjustment and click OK. In the lower right check the Mirror Image box and click OK. Select Print, and then Print again. Now the printer will start printing. Thank you for staying with us. Please stay tuned for more Graphics One Digital Academy videos. For additional information, please visit us at www.graphicsone.com Send us an email to sales at graphics1.com or call us to 1-818-260-9591.